do we do? Your father trusts me. And I need you to trust me too. And do exactly as I say. I'm gonna get you home safe. Okay. Okay, Leon. How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Resident Evil 4 Remake. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. As you can see, we are in Chapter 5, and also, as you can see, I'm using a different costume for Leon and Ashley. These are the romantic costumes. I'm not going to stand up quite yet because if I do, we're going to get the attention of all those whatever those dudes are down there. But before we go, let's go back into the room where we found Ashley because there's actually a secret in here and we can stand up. So, yep, these are the romantic uh, outfits. Let me know what you guys think of them. Um, I actually also do have glasses for Ashley that I got. Um, they're like red rimmed glasses. I could put those on, but um, I don't know. I think she looks pretty good without them on this particular costume, but we'll see. If you guys don't like these costumes, uh, just let me know in the comments. And if you do like them, let me know as well. Man, Ashley just loves to stare right at Leon's face. All right, well, let's go ahead and get out of here before things get out of hand. Cool thing about Ashley is she will just do whatever I do, pretty much. I can even tell her... Ashley! Don't stand and run, you idiot. We're going to get killed as soon as we rescued you. Here's her cell phone. Seriously? I just bought this. <laughs> All right, and now we can use teamwork. Get up there, Ashley. You want me to stand on your shoulders? What do you mean, me? Get up there. Thank you. So you are useful after all. Oh, there's always a way out, Ashley. You need to chill. Don't jump to conclusions. Just trust me to do my job, okay? Oops, sorry. Attachable mines. Ooh, guys, that means with the bolt thrower, we can actually lay some proximity mines, which will be very useful in uh, near the end of this chapter. So we'll save them until then. Ooh, a gold token, very nice. All right, Ashley, uh, I think that's pretty much all the loot in here. Sorry, I don't mean to shine the flashlight right on you, but <laughs> I put it right in her face. All right, um, let's just jump out. Leon looks pretty awesome, too. I like his hair. No way. It's okay, I've got you. Don't be scared. Just do it. Hey, trust me. We just met, and this is crazy. Jump out that window, and I'll catch you maybe. <laughs> oh, man, he got her. Look at her. She's like, I love you. <laughs> love at first fall. Yo, is it coincidence we both match? Crazy that when the villagers abducted us and injected us with plagas, they dressed us the same. All right, let's uh, hop on down. Roost, I've secured Baby Eagle. Copy that. Is she okay? Affirmative. Well done, Condor. Mentally or physically? I'll dispatch a chopper ASAP. I'm sending you the coordinates for the extraction point. Make your way there, and don't let anything happen to Baby Eagle. Copy that. She's not a baby Copy. anymore. Just the saying. Getting worse. Roost out. The weather's getting worse. You don't say. All right, so we need to head to the extraction point, which is at this house, which is through the farm, which is through the village square, and we're at the church. And before we do that, uh, we also want to go to the village chief's manor, because remember in the uh, chief's bedroom, there was another area we could access with Ashley's help, as well as this spot right here we can access with Ashley's help. So a couple spots. 
Um, yeah, all right. But first, we need to actually escape the church, like, properly. All right, uh, before we try to escape the church, though, let's go ahead and go in here. Use our key that we got in the church to unlock this cabinet. That'll give us yellow diamond. Very nice. Ashley, you're looking very nice today, if I say so myself. We both look pretty damn good. All right, nothing else in here unless you want to save. So let's just go ahead and get out of here. We can shank this villager and try to stealth away from the church as best as we can because honestly all these guys are going to pop tentacles out of their head and we don't want that come over here ashley ashley can you get closer to the wall you're you're literally right out in the open okay whatever yeah just just don't move and they won't see you right let's get our bolt thrower If we do... Oh, what is this treasure right over here? Better go get that. Before we do anything else. Ooh, a red, another red gemstone ring. We've had that before. All right, Ashley, let's go. They're coming. Get behind me. Oh, God. What is wrong with these people? Follow me. Hey, man. I didn't want to get the attention of all these guys, but... Seems like... We are past the point of no return. Ashley, let's go. Stay by me. Come on, Ashley. You can stand up now, you know. Uh, a tentacle head. I already know. Let's get away. Ashley, okay. stay away while I deal with this nuisance. Oh, shit. oh shoot. I need to reload. Let's go. Got it. I was trying not to use my gun because I think it's really loud and it... It attract. Oh, watch out, Ashley. It attracts too many villagers. Alright, the dude throwing Molotovs at us is pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. Ashley, get in here. Get in here, Ashley. Come on. Come on. Ashley! Oh, are you kidding me? Did you hit my girlfriend? Oh man, I need to heal. Oh man, I'm about to die. Uh, actually, let's just use one of these uh, vials because they heal us completely. And for hitting me with that, dude, you're going to get a shotgun in the face. That's, that's your punishment. Ready for this? I told you. Ashley. Let me ni knife this thing real quick. Or not. Okay. Ashley, let's go. We gotta kill this guy. He's annoying. Oh, buddy. Thanks. Anytime. Thank you for waiting so I could help up the girl. That was very nice of you. All right, Ashley, let's go. Forget the rest of those guys. We don't have to kill them all. Though we did kill most of them anyway. There's probably only two or three left, but that's all right. Well, let's keep it going. This episode won't be super long. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. 
A savage mutt. I need someone to get rid of the wild dog that's been roaming the village. It'll be easy to spot, so not like normal dogs. Um, yeah, so probably like 45 minutes, I would guess, but I'm not really sure. I got something new for you. Yeah, we can't afford... We're not going to get the rocket launcher. The rifle is really good in this next part, but I'm not really wanting to buy it. We're going to get a better rifle later. I might buy the first aid. Let's see if we can tune up. Let's repair the knife. Yeah, you know what? Let's sell some of these things. Uh, where's the fully socketed... Didn't I have a... Ooh, the attachable mines. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we have three yellow diamonds. Wow. The yellow diamonds are worth a lot, too. They're worth... More than the red diamonds, I think. Like, if we put a red diamond, it's only 3,000. But if we put the yellow diamond, it's 7,000. This is worth 36,000 by itself. Yeah. Let's, let's get some money, and then we can upgrade everything. <laughs> let's Thank upgrade you. the shotgun Try that on to the max. And the bolt thrower like yourself, to the max. Everything's right maxed way. out. We're actually going to get a new weapon, I think, next episode. Uh, and I won't say what it is, though. And I guess we can buy first aid spray. Yeah, you're right. I don't really need any of these things yet, so... Cool. So, we could save right here. I mean, I guess I will. Alright. Let's... Head on out. Wait, take a break? Sorry, we need to keep moving. Take a break? We're just getting started, Ashley. Chill with that. Do you see where we are? You wanna chill here and just wait till they come find us? You crazy. Alright. So now we're going back to the village. Oh, how'd I miss this crate before? Lunigan was right about the weather. Oh, actually let's go this way. I don't think that guy saw us. They're kinda stupid. But just to make sure. Nope. He's stupid. Uh, let's go down this way. Because if we go fight that guy, he's probably going to alert the entire village that we're here. Come on, Ashley. And this guy's pretty stupid. Even though we have a flashlight shining like right at him, he doesn't... See us coming or hear us coming. And Ashley, you're being really loud. You know that. Hi, buddy. Ooh, that's the first time they've turned around and we did that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let us kill this guy. We do want to kill these guys because... Next. We're going to have to come back through the village to fight the Savage Mutt. So, like, we might as well clear it out before we have to fight the Savage Mutt. Two of these with one flashbang. Watch this. I can always craft more, you know what I mean? Come on, guys. Good enough. Bye-bye. Okay. I think there's another guy over here. Actually, yeah, no, we're, we cleared that out. Here he is. Oh, that was sick. We destroyed that whole stand. What is that banging sound? My goodness, that's that's crazy. All right, um, this is the building that we couldn't get in before, but now we can. Over here. We got Ashley. Hang on. Uh. <laughs> 
I need you to open it from the other side. I think next episode I might just use standard costumes so we can at least play one episode it's where open. Leon and Ashley are wearing Thanks. normal. Because, like, last episode we didn't really get to play when with her. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as we found her, it was a cutscene. Alright, what do we get? An elegant bangle with some more socket slots. And let's not forget that. Another silver token. I think that's probably it in this room. Still, it was nice coming in here. Alright, before we go to the farm, let's go ahead and go to the village chief's manor. It says the savage mutt is there, but we'll actually fight it in the village. I think there's only one or two villagers left. Here's one. Oh, burn, baby. I was hoping she would sprout her head with the tentacles so that she would just get in. Oh, she's cooking. Dang. Yeah, let's go to the village chief's house. Ashley, even you were like watching her cook, weren't, weren't you? Yeah, it's like a monsoon out here. Nice and quiet and dry in the cave, though. That's nice. We did already clear that out, so we're good with that. Go yeah, you and me both, Ashley, oh. but... What do you think I'm doing? Trying to bring you home. By myself, by the way. Nobody helping. I mean, you're helping. We're a good team, Ashley. Don't get me wrong. Alright, so in here... We need to go upstairs. Just making sure we got all the loot, though. Because sometimes it, you can miss stuff. I think we did, though. So let's just go upstairs. You could save here if you really want to. I'll just save right there. And yeah, I need one more gem to socket that. We're looking pretty good on our inventory. Let's go in here. Remember this place? The village chief bedroom? Like I took the insignia key here and as soon as I did that it ended the episode and there was some ammo right there. Well, there's also a little picture here that falls off which activates a secret ladder which you need Ashley to get up again. Come on. Okay. And there's a bunch of loot up here, so definitely don't forget to come back here before you go to the farm. Let it down. Thank you. What is this place? What do you think? It's an attic. Ho ho. Whoa. Just gotta make sure. My goodness. Fake owl right when you come up the ladder. That was crazy. Yellow herb. Village Records Volume 2. All the men cheered when they heard the boat as it raced across the surface of the water. That magnificent oil will surely help us catch fish easier than ever before. The ironworks was only built a year ago, but has already merged well with the village. Our sickles and knives shine like never before. The two fish we got from the deal will eat almost anything and are breeding well. The fish farm in the swamp is also making excellent progress. Wow, sounds like this place is, is doing great. During the day, I teach literacy and mathematics to the children. Every evening, I dine with a single family to hear their grievances and recent gossip, all under the roof of this home we built. Since I opened the village up to the outside, we have prospered and the people are happier. Smiles have even started to appear on their faces. And this is where it goes bad. A strange group of black-robed people, of course, of course they're wearing black robes, descended upon the village from the castle and raised an ominous flag with a spider-like insignia upon it. After preaching about salvation and forgiveness, they injected us with something they claim will cure us of madness. Can they be trusted? Wow, you're, you're asking this after they've injected you by force. Wow, that's the village chieftain, dude, before he went crazy. That's, that's amazing. Watch over the village in my stead, and may smiles always find you in photographs. Oh, this is his father, maybe. That's crazy. The last, like, normal chief in this village before everything went to hell. 
Let's see, what do we got? Photo of the factory, the long-awaited ironworks, 1992. Okay, kind of hard to spin that. Oh, also, I'm pretty sure up here, like over there, there's another clockwork castle in. So if you're trying to get all those, make sure you check that spot. You'll hear it uh, moving if you haven't got it yet. Village Records, Volume 1. The Elder entrusted the village to me today. He told me I can learn my duties as I go. I will start by keeping a record of the village. There are still many words I cannot write, but the Elder encourages me. I will do my best. Seems like he writes perfectly fine. There's a young boy who lives in the cabin by the lake with his grandfather. It seems that his mother was called to heaven upon his birth. His grandfather doesn't talk much, but the lad is very bright and spirited. He told me a story about a knight who rides a donkey again today. The boy's grandfather has fallen ill, and his condition worsens every day. This is the same story about the guy who got bit by the wolf, remember? The boy... We found that uh, journal entry in a totally different place. The boy worries terribly about him, and there are murmurs of a madness among the villagers. As I took my leave, the old man pulled me aside and said, If anything happens, you know what to do. I could only nod in response. What, take over as father of the child, I'm assuming? It was a terrible night. Everyone stood around the cabin and watched as it burned to the ground. The boy looked on without saying a word. Even as dawn broke, he didn't move a muscle. The next day, he was gone. So what happened was... The villagers thought he was going mad. He probably was, and they actually burned his burned him, burned him to death and burned the house, but not the boy, to try to stop the plague or whatever, probably. But it didn't work. Oh my goodness. There they are. Now that's That's the boy and his father, probably. Oh uh, no, it's a photo of a boy and his grandfather. The Navarro family, 1981. Dang. And something else. An antique camera. Okay. See all this good, cool stuff we came up here to find in the uh, village chief's attic? Like, you wouldn't have thought. This is not in the original, by the way, this attic. Pretty sure. I don't remember ever coming up here, so it's pretty cool little bit of like background to the village I guess and what happened and some loot to reward you for remembering and come over here because some people would have found that switch and lower and seen the ladder but you can't actually lower it until you get Ashley so you'd have to remember to come back all right let's say goodbye to the box of bones and let's get out of here make sure I got the loot yep all right as we leave we're gonna trigger a cutscene Wait, where's the door again? I always miss it. Here it is. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, buddy. Um, we... Actually, there's treasure right there. Oh, but it's blocked. We can't go that way. Alright, so let's go fight the Savage Mutt. This is basically the same as one of the zombie dogs we, we saw before. Except he's literally like supercharged, crazy uh, strong, and crazy uh, health. He takes a lot to die. Luckily, we got five frag grenades. Ashley, are you okay? Why are you panting so much? My goodness, have you never walked a few steps in your life? We're not even running. We're like just kind of barely <sighs> jogging a few steps. Sheesh. All right, uh, let's get ready to fight this dog. That's why I'm talking about it's probably smart to clear out the villagers before, because if you don't, oh my goodness, here it is. Hi there. Stay back. We do not want Ashley to get in this fight, so we're gonna draw his attention Watch away. Out. Ashley, you're not doing a good job of staying out of trouble. Oh my goodness, that was a strong attack, sir. Um, actually, let's combine this 
with the red and green and make an ultimate potion that will heal us fully and expand our maximum health a little bit. And do I need any ammo? I need some shotgun ammo is what I really need. I need to remember to use these mines in the uh, last part of the game. Or of this uh, chapter. Ow. Good thing I healed. Target neutralized. Good thing I upgraded the shotgun too. He got pwned. Okay. Oop. Found a straggler. Anyone else? Anyone else? Is this thing like... It's swinging so much I figured I might be able to actually break it, but I guess not. Alright, so to get to the farm we actually need to go up here. Another straggler. Hey buddy. Ooh, you got something in your head, buddy. Don't worry, I'll get it. I was referring to the bolt in your head, by the way, not the Plagos, but that was just, you know, coincidence. Um, I believe we need to go to over here? Nah, where are we going? Is it this way? Yeah, it must be. All right, yeah, we're good. Make sure I loot it in here. All right, yep, we're good. Ashley, stay close. We got a couple guys here. Bro, are you blind? Oh. Thought you were dead, but guess not. That's all right. We like opportunities to use this pistol. Okay, anything in here? Anything, anything? Already looted, gotcha. Other side? Anything? Already looted, wait, I already looked at that one. That's right. No, where am I? We're back, I'm getting all confused. All right, yeah, we're good. Let's get this, get my bolts back. All right, there's also one more way shrine cabinet that we're gonna open right there. The farm has a lot of enemies too, so we gotta be careful. On me. No problem. Oh, we can actually save right here. Yeah, we might as well. Uh, one thing you can do here is um, if you go in the animal pen area, which is like right here, there's a bunch of cows and pigs and sometimes they'll just like charge and knock over the enemies, but you gotta be careful because they'll knock you over too. Ashley, do you want to just hide in the safe room while I clear out the entire farm or I guess you just want to hang out with me, don't you? That's fine. Right in the face. Oh, we got, we got another live one here. One more bolt should do it. No? Oh. Oh, uh, let me get that bolt. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Ashley, a warning next time would be nice. Oh, hi. Oh, bull guy. Ashley, let's go in here. Like I said, we want to lure them in here because this is where all the animals are. Ashley, get on me. What are you? Spread out. Okay. Hi. Beautiful. Here you go. How about a frag just to spice it up? Uh. 
Thankfully, this bull guy doesn't have a weapon. Oh, I knew he was going to do that, and I need to heal. I need to heal. The pig hit me. The pig hit me, guys. That, this plan backfired. Actually, we are still under threat, so just please be careful. Maybe if I run through here, the cows will hit him. Oh, I really want that bolt. Ow, bro. Nice shot, though. I get. I gotta give you props. All right, buddy. I'm getting sick of you. Bro, the cow hit Ashley. Go right. Bro, what the? All right, you know what? 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 You get? No, that's what you get. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. You good? Stick close. Ashley, you really got killed by a cow. Feels bad. Feels cow, man. Need to reload my bolt thrower. We're just looking around for loot a little bit. I know we got to kill some guys in here. I uh, can't go in the back. Holy, holy cow! Literally, he chased us. Oh my goodness! That was a mad cow, legit. He literally chased us across the map. Nice sidestep, bro, but not really. That only works on noobs. You got something in your teeth. Oh, never mind. It's just my bolt. Um, anything else in here? No. Nope. Oh, let's get the way shrine. Ashley, get out of my way. Here we go. This is the last one, too. So after this, we can sell the key. Ooh, another antique pipe. One for me and one for you, Ashley. Oh, wait, I already sold the other one. I guess this one's mine, but we can share. All right. Um, I should probably explain what's about to happen because it's going to be insane. But before we do that, let's go sell or tune up. It's very important that we do that because, like I said, this next part is pretty crazy. We're going to have to survive an onslaught for quite a while. Ooh, we got eight spinels for that. Where would it? What can I do you for? I don't really want anything though. But all right, well, let's sell the antique pipe, the camera, the velvet blue. I could probably oh socket the elegant Thank bundle, you. so let's just uh, elegant bangle. Sorry. Oh no, I need another. Need another circular. It's got two. All right, not a problem. And uh. Might want to take care of any. Welcome. Let's see. I don't really need to do anything. Can repair Give my that knife. The care it deserves, mate. I guess we're just we're good. Well, that, don't get yourself killed. But we will save just in case, because this next part is probably the hardest part of the chapter. Probably harder than um, even fighting that crazy dog. Luckily, we have a lot of healing items, oh. <laughs> and we also have the mines, which we can attach to our bolts, which will come in handy in a little bit. So let's go ahead and trigger the cutscene and you'll see what I mean. And it just auto-saved. Anytime it auto saves as you're crossing a bridge, you know something's about to go down on the other side. You. Hey, listen, about earlier. Yeah, about I... that. Hey, I see you found your missing senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then, who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. Uh, hi, now. In that case, here, help me. Ashley, quick, over here. 
Ashley, since you're utterly useless in a fight, why don't you go in here? Okay, so this is where you might want to put some of those mines on some of these windows. First things first though, let's get the loot, pick up the boards. We can put them on the windows. Let's go ahead and block this window. And let's put the planks on this window. Grab the green herb. A red herb. All right, we're pretty good. Hey, buddy. Don't be afraid to start shooting him in the face, though, because there's just like a million. Do you see him all over there? I think my frag's going to... Oh, hi. You guys are ugly. Hey, Lewis, where'd you go? Nah, 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 nah. Thank you, Lewis. I'm waiting to go upstairs until absolutely necessary. Alright, let's go upstairs, start attaching some mines to these windows. Put one there. Oops. Don't mind the beeping sounds. I've been waiting, hero boy. Need some help, Lewis? I'm pretty sure Lewis is like indestructible, so don't really even worry about him. Oh, some more wooden planks. Beautiful. At this point, we just need to survive long enough. That's all. Oh, hand grenades and stuff. Beautiful. Hi, guys. Shotgun time. We got it. We might as well use it, right? Let's go upstairs and see how things are looking. Ah, uh, this guy probably hit my mine. And it looks like they both blew up. Let's play another mine, shall we? Don't fall off, buddy. I need to heal. Okay. Um, ooh, I got large resources. I should craft a flashbang, to be honest. I don't have any. Can I do another one? Yeah. And probably I should craft handgun ammo. I'm using a lot. And... Alright, let's shotgun this guy in the face. Oh yeah, I need to heal. <laughs> Might as well use these two. Hey, buddy. Ooh, we just got somebody. More wooden planks. Good dodge, not gonna lie. Let's go put the wooden planks on another window. Oh, hi. No, no, no. No ladder. Oh, I'll give you more than a hand. I'll give you some planks, too. Sorry. Must have slipped. Oh, all right. We're on phase two. Cutscene is triggered. It gets a little bit harder now. 
I would love to go upstairs. Hi, guys. Hey guys, I do not recommend coming up here. I told you. What the hell are you doing? I am doing what you said. You said come upstairs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, this is basically the boss. All right, we're gonna wait because big guy is about to come up. Get ready for the big guy. Down here, dummy. Just kidding. Up here. Oh, he got up here fast. How did he wait? Did he run back up the stairs? Was that like a 200 IQ play? Oh, hi. He outsmarted me. Not gonna lie. Oh my God. You're so fast. As soon as I went up here, he was like waiting. Fire in the hole. Oh, come on, bro. Anyone else? We're out of shotgun, but I could. Okay, sick, sick, sick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we said, wait, there was loot. There was loot. I wanted to pick up the loot. Dang it. We didn't even pick up the loot from the big guy. Ah, oh, well. We survived. First try. That's all that matters, right? Why are you panting, Ashley? You didn't even do anything except find a ex exit for us, I guess. Secret escape. Lewis and I did everything. What's, what's happening to me? Oh, we both know what's happening. Is this the first time you've coughed up like this? You want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called the uh, plaga. Las plagas. You saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you. The same thing that made them like that. This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms. They're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you two? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. Great, we're partners then. Hey, why are you- No help? time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. I will contact you later. That's interesting because I'm pretty sure in the original he doesn't have a scar on his chest like that. He does help you, but he doesn't show you like a scar like that. That you know what I mean? That you know like if he did have the plaga in him, I didn't know that in the original. That's cool. All right. Only 44 minutes to beat that. We did really well. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please go ahead and drop a like and I hope to see you in chapter six. Take it easy, guys.